I legit have an amazing prompt hub with code built just like that. This one is truly groundbreaking. These are some of the best updates I've ever seen. That is so true. Ever. Can I get a drum roll? And not just for Canva, for any app, website, or tool, period. Canva Create just came out a few short days ago, and there were a lot of mic drop moments. This is crazy. And because there are so many new updates and features, it could be easy to get overwhelmed. So what we're gonna do specifically for this video is we're gonna go through all the updates and new features as a brief overview, just so you know exactly what came out. But then we're gonna spend a little extra time on one specifically, and that's Canva AI. There are some features that really blow my mind. Canva code. <laughs> Wow. And believe me, you will not want to miss any of these. There's a link in the description to try Canva Pro free for 30 days. So here we are in Canva, and this page right here is going to be your new best friend while you get the hang of these new updates and features. This is going to be Canva's What's New page. But this page is going to be so helpful because as I scroll down, you could see everything that is now available, specifically Magic Studio at scale, where you can bulk create. And in Canva AI, the one I'm so blown away by, is we have Canva code. Now the power of coding is at your fingertips and you don't even have to know an ounce of coding. And look, it gives me a prompt template. I can copy it or use it in real time. This is incredible. I basically built a prompt hub from scratch and it actually gave me all of the prompts. But perhaps one of the most impressive ones is gonna be Meet Canvas Sheets. And by the looks of it, this is gonna be highly useful and impressive. You can use Magic Write to generate an entire month's worth of copy with just one personalized prompt. With one click, Translate will rewrite your content into wow. 100 languages in seconds. This could be one of the new VIPs for prompt organization. It's gonna integrate with other functions and features within Canva, and it even has some powerful AI built in. And then we also have magic charts. So if you design a lot of charts, whether it be bar graphs, pie charts, whatever, these updates are gonna be amazing for you as well. Now we'll come back to these in a second because I wanna show you some other cool features. So you can see right here, we can bring live data into your design. We have magic insights, and right here we have magic formulas. So again, going back to Canvas Sheets, if you've ever had trouble coming up with formulas, look at this. Let magic formulas do the math. But now one of the places I want to start is this one right here. It's going to be the new visual suite. What if you could work on any design you like, all within the same file? Why this is going to be so impressive is because, let's say for an example, you're in Canva and you're working on a lot of things at once, a lot of projects. You now have all of your designs right here in one centralized place. Say we're starting a new project. We can kick things off with a presentation slide. Then on the next page, you can add a doc to write a brief so your team can have all of the data context you need. This is one of Canva's specific examples. Now notice down here at the very bottom of your page, we have a presentation. We have two presentations as I click back and forth. We also have a doc and a sheet, social media content. We also have a website we're working on, whiteboard, instructions, and more designs. Notice this. These are all designs that are being worked on simultaneously, but you have them now all at your fingertips. So whether you're by yourself juggling multiple projects at once, or if you have a team of people working on 10 different things, they could all be viewable and accessible down here on one screen. So for an example, if I'm in Canva over here and I have a Canva doc open, now this is the actual script for this video. So you could see, I kind of have some notes being taken. Now, if I come down here and I select this arrow button, do you see this pop-up right here? I can now add another page, but I can add another page with a complete different style of a design. So if I wanted to add a sheet, I could add a sheet. And now look, we have my doc, we have a YouTube thumbnail and a blank sheet for a new canvas sheet. Hit that arrow again. I can also add some social media designs. I click social media. I could scroll through what I'm looking for. Let's add a Facebook event cover. So you could see how now I can go through these and work on many things at the same time and quickly go back and forth between all of them. Now, again, here's another example of canvas sheets coming out and you could see right away that this sample already displays some cool things we're going to be able to do. But 
now what I want to do specifically is I want to focus on Canva AI for now. We'll go back to those other updates in a second, but I first want to show you a few impressive things we can do over here in Canva AI. Now, what you're going to notice is over here on the left-hand side, we're going to have that new option. It's called Canva AI over there in the side toolbar. So if I go to home and I go back to Canva AI, there we have it. This now brings up this page right here. And so right away, we get greeted with this prompt box. But check this out. If I select my option up here, your designs, look at this. It automatically displays all of my most recent designs right below me. If I want to take things a step further, let's go ahead and select type. Now I can scroll down and look at all of my different design types, select designs, and now I can select even more subcategories right here. Speaking of category, let's go ahead and open that up. And now I can look at my specific categories I'm working on. For an example, if I chose YouTube thumbnail, just like that, all of my most recent YouTube thumbnails are appearing down here below. You could filter it by owner and even the date modified. Now this date modified is gonna be so helpful, especially if you use Canva a lot like I do. This is gonna make it very easy to quickly find your most recent creation. So let's go ahead and X out of this. What we're going to want to do is click Canva AI again. And now here is that prompt box that's opened up. Now, immediately, you're going to notice a few things right down here below. We're going to have design for me create an image, draft a doc, and code for me. That is Canva's new feature for Canva code. But one of the things I really like the best is as I scroll down, you can see my most recent chats, but then it's gonna give you a lot of amazing examples that you could start off with just right away from writing, coding, and even designing and creating images. Now remember, Canva did acquire Leonardo AI, which is called Dream Lab in Canva. And so if you become accustomed to using Dream Lab separately, Canva also just integrated all of their AI over here in Canva AI's page. So now Dream Lab is usable and accessible right here. So for an example, let's go ahead and select create an image. And now this is going to open up right here. As I scroll down, you could already look at some amazing examples I've been having a lot of success in doing. Now, since Canva acquired Leonardo AI, it's only fair to go to my Leonardo AI prompts database and try one of these prompts to see how good of a job Canva can actually do. For the most amazing prompts databases, click the links in the description. Let's go ahead and try this one right here. I'll just go ahead and copy this whole entire prompt. Let's see if Canva AI can recognize that and create a good realistic image for me as well. Now, the other thing you're gonna notice is this plus button right here. Again, we could add media just like we've done in Dream Lab before and use a few different reference images, but as I go down, it looks like my images are complete. And look, there is my Viking hunting in the mountains. For comparison, let's go to Leonardo AI. Okay, very good, very similar. But now if I come over here and I select templates, look at this down here below. So I'm in Canva AI, I go to your designs, and now templates, if I open this up and scroll down, look, I can also select sheet, which I have here now. And look, I can basically have the AI help me build out anything that I want, specifically in these sheets right here, which is going to be so helpful. I have more styles. So if I want to choose like bold, I can select bold and look, it now gives me new sheets to choose from. Now let's go ahead and go back to Canva AI and try this out. Let's go ahead and now select design for me. And now what I'll say is design a presentation to showcase the best of Hawaii. All right, let's go ahead and submit this and see what this can come up with. Now, right away, I can see it's already going to work and it looks like it's gonna give me already, wow, multiple examples I can expect here pretty soon. Okay, wow, now that didn't take long at all, maybe 60 seconds, but look at this, instantly, if I just hover over this, I get seven slides I could easily look at and determine which one's best. Here is another one. And as I scroll through, I just get example after example that I could use. So let's say for an example, I like this first one. If I select the edit button on the specific design, now I have an additional chat on the left-hand side and on the right-hand side, I can select use Canva editor. I can even select this color button and choose different color palettes. On the left-hand side, I now get more options, more designs. I can also select the option that says with pictures of Hawaiian sunset. Let's go ahead and try that. And now now look, it gives me even more examples. This is fantastic. Now in the chat, in the bottom left-hand side, I'm gonna say change it to a more modern style. 
Okay, just like that. Change it to a more modern style. And now let's see if it can kind of revise it for me. As it's thinking, I also have this option down here in the left. If I hit that plus button, I can even add media to it. So if I wanted to add my own personal photos, I could easily upload that with that plus button. And just like that, look at this. Fantastic. This looks very good. Let's say we like this one. Now what I said is based on this, draft a doc or document for itinerary in Hawaii. Now check this out. And now just like that, look at what it gave me. Beautiful. It actually gave me this real document based off of the presentation it just made me. And as I scroll down, look at this right here, complete with the full design, and it's going to be pretty thorough. So you can basically take this to a whole new level by having the back and forth conversation on the left hand side. The right hand side will show you the real time new designs. Okay, now let's see if we can take things to a whole new level. Now, I want to go ahead and try code for me. And as I scroll down, you can already see that there are some good options we could try just to see how this works. But right away, we have grocery list builder, interactive certificate, biology quiz. Okay, let's try something specific for prompting. And so what I said is an interactive hub for different prompts and categories. That's all I'm going to say. Now, while that's thinking, we're going to come back to that in a second, because what I want to do is also scroll down back on this main page right here and choose one specifically. Let's go ahead and try this one for code where it says create an interactive flashcard game. Okay, let's select this one as well. That way we can have two going at the same time. And so here's our first one. This is going to be my prompt hub. You can see it's going to work. If I go to this one, you can see this one's going to work for my new flashcard game. We're already at 100 lines of code. Okay, both of the code projects are done. And wow, wait until you see this. Now check this out. Here is the first one, the custom one, where I said interactive hub for different prompts and categories. And just like that, look at what it gave me immediately. Great looking design, great looking feel. And wow, what? It really is interactive. Check it out. If I scroll down and I look at the categories and now just click it, let's click on creative writing. Look, it takes me to all these subcategories. As I click, this is crazy. It's actually giving me prompts as well. Back to prompts again, back to categories. Let's scroll down. Let's try visual arts down here at the bottom. Look at this art concept, design brief, visual style guide. I open each one up. And look, it gives me a prompt template. I can copy it or use it in real time. This is incredible. Now, to really see what's so impressive about this, up in the top right-hand corner, I can select Use in Design. If I select that, it will actually bring it into a brand new design and allow me to use this interactive prompt hub. And look, just like that, there it is. Check it out. It's in a new design. And again, if I go ahead and preview it, look at this. It's going to look like a legit awesome website. And it actually operates as one as well. By clicking on each of the categories, check this out. I basically built a prompt hub from scratch and it actually gave me all of the prompts. So I could just say I could build an immediate prompt website. I can actually even edit it and tell it to add more categories or add specific prompts. So I can't tell you enough how impressive this is right here. I legit have an amazing prompt hub with code built just like that. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the other one. Remember, it was going to be a flashcard game and look at this right here. Beautiful. It is an interactive Spanish flashcard game, and we can take a quick look at this. Look, it's interactive again. Let's go ahead and flip the card. Look at that. It's going to help me learn. Buenos dias means good morning. Let's see. I flip my card. Good morning. I can even down here in the bottom left add more specific categories or looks to it by having that two-way conversation. That is incredible. So as you can see, there are a ton of new amazing features in Canva Create, the latest updates. Now, again, there's going to have to be a lot more videos really diving into these to really take advantage of the power of AI. So make sure you hit that subscribe button because I'll be diving in and learning all of the hidden tips and secrets and we'll definitely be sharing all those videos with you. But again, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Until then, I'll see you next time.